Many of the most memorable and damaging hurricanes are also remembered for how fast they gain strength. We've seen some really eye-popping examples of rapid intensification in the last few years. Just since 2017, six Category 4 and 5 hurricanes made U.S. landfalls. All six rapidly intensified at least once. If the winds can increase at least 35 miles per hour within 24 hours, so that meets the uh, criteria for rapid intensification. This study, published in the journal Nature, says in the last 50 years, more hurricanes are becoming stronger and doing so more quickly. And a lot of that can be driven by the warm ocean temperatures. In a warmer world, hurricanes have more fuel, but there's more to the story. Rapid intensification is a physical process that depends on not only what's going on inside the storm, in its inner core, but what's going on in the environment around it. Warm sea surface temperatures and low vertical wind shear are contributing factors, but not all storms rapidly intensify in these conditions. The good news is, in recent years, we've gotten a little bit better at anticipating rapid intensification. For example, the rapid intensification of Hurricane Ian in the Western Caribbean as it was heading to the southeastern Gulf was fairly well anticipated. But another monster storm proved there's still much more to learn, Hurricane Otis. Which was a tropical storm in the morning and became a category five before it moved into Acapulco that evening. So in one day, it went from a TS to a category five hurricane. And on top of that, the models did not capture that very well. It's still really difficult to pinpoint just how high it will peak, exactly when it will happen. So always prepare for the worst case scenario. A lot of people tend to go, well, I hope a hurricane doesn't hit me, but that's the wrong kind of hope. You are giving the hurricane too much advantage. Preparing for the worst is actually your best hope. The right kind of hope is, I'm going to get insurance, I'm going to strengthen my home, I'm going to get supplies, I'm going to have an evacuation plan so that when a hurricane eventually does come your way, you have real hope that you will survive and you'll be able to recover and go from there.